Who's ready to see some hidden grails in the wild? Here we go. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have part two of our huge hunt over at the Toy Vault that we actually did with the one, the only, Rock and Row. If you guys are not subscribed to either my channel, Slapshot Pops, or Rock and Row, make sure you go drop us a sub because both of us are on the road to 4,000 subscribers. So last week we had the privilege of having Rock and Row over at our house. We did some crazy hunts and we actually went to not one, but two Toy Vaults in our area. If you guys missed out on the first video make sure you guys go check it out because we found a record number of chases in that toy vault store in today's toy vault hunt video we find some hidden grails that were tucked away behind some pops they were up high on the shelves and uh, we also picked up a bunch of goodies so we hope you guys are enjoying these hunt videos enjoy the video and we'll see you at the end and we'll see what we picked up all right guys, so we actually just found another toy vault location about 20, 25 minutes away from the previous one. So we're gonna go check this one out and see if they have anything different or anything more higher end compared to the last one. Or maybe we'll just find another bucket of chases. So here we go. All right, so this is the second toy vault location that is near us and a little bit different setup than the previous one. Um, they do have their huge wall of pops right here. We have some as soon as we walk in. Um, so we'll look at this section first. Looks like they got some newer stuff once again, the Seinfeld, some of the Frasier Infinity Warp stuff. We got some of the new Mandalorian. This is the, uh, the brand new Boba Fett. This is the Bo-Katan. Need to pick up that chase at some point. The new Ahsoka, absolutely love that. Um, and now coming over here, to the wall uh, let's see we actually have some old school wobblers up there looks like big bang theory doctor who and the walking dead and uh, oh we have some more chases already so here we have brett michaels chase and the tlc chase and oh here we go we have not one but two and they both look like they're 300 piece each ricochet rabbits so that's pretty interesting that they have two 300 pieces don't really see that very often uh, we also have a snoopy and woodstock pop right there old school peanuts with sally brown as well oh and we have more chases so we have the narrator from fight club daryl ward and sarah connor but it just keeps getting better and better oh look we have the green ranger and the hunter ron chase whole set of the uh which movie was that uh inside out that disney movie that's a that's a hard set to come by right there um we also have um oh look at that red she hulk that's gonna be a good pop to pick up for the future for when the new show comes out and the other alien chase uh we also have the daredevil right there from the show we're actually in the middle of watching that right now uh we have ronin um, let's see, old school Mystique right there. Coming down, we have some Minions Pops. We have Disney Pops. We have Dumbo, Cinderella. Here we got some Marvel. I'm just backtracking a tiny bit. Um, let's see what else we have. Some more retro toys. Some of the bombshells. Now we're moving into the DC section here. And going back up. We have an old Miles Morales Spider-Man. That's pretty cool. Oh, and there it is up on the top shelf. You guys can see we have the Bo-Katan Unmasked Chase. That is pretty cool. So as we continue to go on through, I see they got some Star Wars pops on the top shelf. Coming down here, we have some gummy bear pops. Um, some of those I've actually never seen before. Um, some of the, um, the foodies pops, uh, some McDonald's pops right here. Um, Dilbert, I don't think I've seen that one in a while. Let's see, what else do we have? What else, what else? Oh, we got some more chases, so keep tallying up those chases for today. We have the Zuko chase, another TLC chase, some Star Wars pops up there. 
Um, all right, so here we spotted a grail right here. We have Lucky the Leprechaun. Oh, another chase, the Will from Saga. Another one, the Demogorgon chase. This is the most chases I've ever seen. Oh, here we go, there's another one, Constance Hatchaway. This is crazy, just chase after chase after chase. Um, then we have some old school Sesame Street pops. Those have been creeping up in value. I see we have Jeffrey, that's always a great one. A um, lot of cool stuff. Oh, look at this one, we even have the Deadpool Chimichanga truck from 2015. That's a little bit of an older ride. And continue, I'm gonna back up a little bit so you guys can see the top, top shelf. We have that Slave Leia three pack, which is pretty cool. You don't see that every day. They have a lot of 10 inch pops up there. Um, don't think I'll be picking any of those up today. Um, and then they just have some more movie moments, some Christmas pops. Um, so a lot of great stuff. Um, we're gonna see if they have any sodas though. All right, so now we're gonna go see if we can find some sodas somewhere else in the store here. Soda? Did you say soda? <laughs> oh, that's the Soda King. Nothing, nothing better than hunting with the Soda King. So the rest of the store is pretty huge. Got a lot of action figures and stuff, um, but I don't want to make the video too long for you guys, but here we go. Here is the soda section right in the front. We have Quake, Quisp, got some older ones once again, uh, Fawn, another Gene the Foot section, but they also have some new ones like Jaina and Zan. They said just came in, which is pretty cool. They have Thanos, um, Superman, all kinds of great stuff. They have another tray over here the Pan Am girl, Corpse Bride, Hulk. We don't have any Hulks yet, so we might grab one. Tongue Lasher, Pogo, Ash, the Deku, all kinds of great stuff. So stay tuned guys, we're gonna be back in the studio and I'll show you what we picked up today in both Toy Vault locations. So guys, before we actually head out, I actually asked one of the employees to pull this down from the shelf and this thing is super old, original Green Lantern from 2012. This is Series 1 DC in really, really good condition so, for its age, so not bad. Um, still deciding if we're going to take this home, but um, yeah, we'll find out in just a sec. All right, guys, so that was our hunt at the second toy vault that we found in our area. There's actually a bunch of those stores, so we're going to be doing some more hunts on the channel in the future. So if you guys are enjoying these videos, let me know down in the comments section below. And if there's somewhere in the Boston or New England area that you guys think I should go check out for some grails or high-end pops or just stuff that you don't see every day, definitely let me know in the comments section down below. All right, so Toy Vault, we picked up a bunch of sodas like we did at the first one. Uh, one of the ones we got was the brand new Harley Quinn Demon. Unfortunately, we did not pull a chase, so we're gonna have to go back and get some more. We also got a bunch of other sodas that you guys probably saw us open last week on our three-way soda battle between myself, Joanna, and of course, Rock and Roll. Now, I also picked up a bunch of pops, um, one of which I was very excited to grab, and this is the brand new Captain Carter from the Marvel What If show. And one of the reasons why I love this pop so much is of course she's holding a shield. I love all the pops where they hold either Captain America shield or Red Guardian shield or ta the Taskmaster shield. So I had to get this one for my collection and it also goes really nice with the soda of Captain Carter. Um, just because Joanna wasn't with us, so I took the opportunity to grab some presents for her. Um, I grabbed two pops that I know she wanted for her collection. So right here we have Sonic, and uh, this is him with the ring. She loves Sonic the Hedgehog, so I'm trying to get all the Sonic pops for her. She also loves Knuckles, Tails, all those characters are just really cool. She's also a big Stitch fan, so that is why I picked up the Monster Stitch which is a great scene from the movie, FYE exclusive. Um, got these three pops for, uh, I believe they were three for 30, which was really awesome. So um, awesome deal over the Toy Vault. They have their 
their, um, you know, buy three, get a deal for their sodas and their pops. So, you know, three is a hat trick here on Slapshot Pops. So we're all about the threes. And the final pop that I picked up is one that I really think is going to go up in value because of the new Marvel She-Hulk series that's going to be coming out on Disney Plus next year. So I have a feeling all of the original She-Hulk pops are going to be going up in value. And there's really not that many. So I spotted this one. And even though it was... It was price marked a few dollars over PPG. I'm okay because I really think this pop is going to go up in value. And uh, this is the Red She-Hulk. And it is a 2017 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. This is the shared sticker version. Um, I think it's a really cool pop. It's from 2017, so we're going on four years old. Extremely underrated and undervalued. And uh, just a Marvel character that I have a feeling we're going to be seeing at some point. We're definitely going to see She-Hulk. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to see the Red She-Hulk, but we are definitely going to see Red Hulk. So anything Hulk, in my opinion, from you know years past is going to be going up. So, uh, But that's pretty much all I picked up. Another successful hunt. We really enjoyed checking out the store. And uh, let me know down in the comments section below, were there any grails that I missed? And uh, what was your favorite thing in the store that you would pick up if you were there with us? So that's all I got for you guys. Hopefully everybody's having a great week. Remember, don't stop shooting until you score. We'll see you guys in the next video.